welcome in today. Today you're joined by me, Daniel, and I am going to be talking to you about a certain topic. Um, so with these videos, these are a little bit shorter, 20 minute videos, where I just chat about certain topics. Um, so welcome in, you know, today I'm talking to you about how night owl artists can get more work done. Now, I have talked about, you know, how to get more work done before. I have talked to you about schedules. I've talked to you about um, a lot of these topics that I have, that I am going to cover today, but not per se from a night owl perspective. You know, um, for me, you know, I am forced, I'm a forced night owl. Um means I have to, I have to kind of work at night to get any work done, to get any artwork done. Um, but I think there's two, you know, two different types of night owls. There are the regular night owls, or we would call them regular night owls, but they are the night owls that are, they like working at night and, you know, they, they get to work at night. Um, it could be that they do work during the day and they just enjoy working at night, you know, kind of a thing. Um, work a normal job or, or whatever they do during the day um, or just relax and sleep and, and all that during the day and then get to illustrate and create during the night and they just enjoy that, you know, natural kind of um, night owl. And then there is a forced night owl where... You know, the force to work at um, night time <laughs> because, you know, um, they can't, you know, um, function, <laughs> maybe, or they, you know, there's all sorts of things. Um, you know, they, they don't necessarily want to work at night, they'd rather work during the day. Um, but yes, for some reason they have to work at night. For me, you know, I work a normal nine to five job. I'm not creating art or anything or anything like that. So I do have to, you know, if I want to create artwork, I do have to create it at night, uh, really in, in the scheme of, you know, your day to day life. Um, I can, you know, get time off. I can have weekends. Um, there's, there's times that I do get um daytime hours to uh do stuff and you know i could <laughs> i could push that further and you know get my lunch break there i get to draw and create stuff um but in the end you know my schedule i am working at night i probably get about uh, roughly an hour and a half ish every night of art done um and it's been challenging in the last few days because I've, I've come down with a cold. So Monday, Tuesday was all out of whack. You know, Monday I just couldn't really get out of bed kind of a thing. Um, you know, so it was challenging. I couldn't get any art done. Um, Tuesday, um, I was a little bit better, still kind of recovering. Um... But in the end, I could only do like maybe 40 minutes, 30 minutes of art on Tuesday. Um, so that was a little bit better, but you know, but that was the whole day, you know. Um, I had a little bit more time because I was stuck at home, um, feeling ill. So, you know, 45.1 minutes is pretty good. <laughs> um, I think Wednesday um, wasn't the best, you know. I was slowly like recording how many time I'm, how much time I'm actually kind of painting and drawing, um, you know, and that's always, yeah, good to, to keep an eye on, um, and things like that, um, uh, yeah, it helps you, help you out and helps you find more time, um, to do the stuff you need, but I'll get into a little bit more of that a bit later, we'll delve into my kind of first subject here, the first kind of thing I wanted to talk about is, you know, setting things up, um, especially for force night owls, um, for, you know, natural, uh, ones, um, setting things up is really helpful as well, so all these tips that I'm about to say are for both kind of spectrums, uh, there could be a third, I'm not sure, or more, you, you never know, 
um, you know, maybe a force, a naturally force, <laughs> um, but, you know, anyway, you're setting things up, so, um, that could be if you are doing traditional work and things like that, um, traditional artwork, that could be, you know, lining up all your, your paints and things, this could be during the day, during the day where you don't want to be working or you are relaxing and sleeping and singing um, at some point during the day um, where you're not sleeping, or we're not, you know, catching on eyes or whatever um, it is or not working. Um, for me, you know, I have lunch break so I can come home um, and I set up a few things here and there sometimes whether it's, um, you know, these videos, these exports, they take a little bit of time to do, and, you know, if I have to do them, um, during this period, you do it at night time, because it's recording this at night time, um, then, you know, it cuts away from my painting time, and it cuts away from, um, you know, actually, actually being able to create artwork and work on pieces and, and things like that. And that's really kind of the most important thing about that time. And, um, you know, it did take me a little, you know, when I was, because I was slowly getting into full time. And then, um, and then I got into, you know, full, full time. And uh, when I went into full, full time, it took me a little while to, to get that, um, going, because I would just be like, I would just do it at night, um, and get all this done, but what I was seeing is I wasn't doing enough painting in my night times, um, so therefore, I was like, well, is there other times I could be doing this, um, you know, the other little things, like checking emails, all those things, um, I try not do them in those times, in that, that night time that I am creating stuff, um, you know, so try and do that if you do, you know, for me, because, you know, force night owl kind of a thing, so, you know, at that period of time, sometimes I do get really tired and just want to go flick through emails and do just some other things, other things here and there, I'm not feeling like painting, um, I mean, those things are kind of important, you know, checking emails, and, um, you know, applying for jobs, or whatever it is, those things, and updating your portfolio, and all those little things that you, you got to do as a creator, um, all those things are important, um, but, you know, just, just painting, and just creating is, for me, one of the most important things, you know, um, yeah, send things up, so, you know, putting your brushes out, yeah, um, all those little tasks are gone, um, yeah, we'll go on the next one here, you know, hopefully you understand that, I have talked about, a lot about that topic, so, you know, feel free to subscribe to the channel and find out more about what I got, and I'll probably be talking about it in a lot of different videos as well, so, you know, um, knowing what is available, what is available, what is achievable, knowing what is achievable, so, you know, you have to know what you are capable of, what you're capable of creating, how much are you, you know, how much are you capable of creating, um, you know, not what other artists are able to create, not what other YouTubers or other artists, other creators are able to create, not what they're able to create, everyone's different, you know, it's, you know, look at someone like, um, Piper Theodore, who is an amazing creator, who creates, um, these awesome mm -hmm. paintings every day, and they just, you know, are really awesome, um, it amazes me, I really want to be able to do that one day, um, but I, I can't, you know, I know it's not achievable for me, um, just because, you know, that's his full-time gig, <laughs> um, that's a day painting, it probably took four or five hours, I think, some of them four or five hours, some eight, 
I don't have that time. It you know I only have about an hour and a half a day after work, um, so I I don't have a lot of time to to do that, to just do it at that every day. I did in the past, um, you know, but I never could get to that level, um, get myself to that level, and you know by the time, <laughs> you know. I might have been trying, it was too late, um, if I, if I do find that period, I'll be doing that, I'll be, like, just creating non-stop if I can, um, but knowing what's achievable, I'm slowly recording down how many hours or minutes I am creating each night, and just slotting that in, knowing that I am slowly seeing a pattern, um, of how much I'm actually doing, um, why some of those nights where I'm not doing as much, why I'm not doing as much, I'm, I'm considering that as well, um, I know recording the time, but th that's only giving me now a small picture, it's like, oh, I'm, you know, I've only done 20 minutes that night, why did I only do 20 minutes that night, you know, um, it's not giving me much of a picture, why did I only do 20 minutes, um, you know, <laughs> because I needed a night out, because I, you know, needed to chillax, or, um, okay, well, how could I, you know, change that, I mean, at the moment, it seems that, you know, there's some nights, or some days that are less, uh, like, 30 or 40, and then there's days that are higher, so it's evening out to be roughly an hour a day, a night, per se, with all those different, you know, 30 minutes Monday, an hour and a half Tuesday, 40 minutes Wednesday, you know, it's slowly evening out to be about an hour, um, a day, on average, um, so, you know, I just look at it and see if it's, you know, if that's your pattern, that's, you know, that's fine, so know what's achievable, know what you can create, um, you know, if you can create all through the night and, you know, sleep all through the day. Um, or if you need, you know, to find a a good routine. And this leads on to my next one, which is getting enough rest. Um, you know, it's fine and dandy to, to know what is achievable. Um, but you've also got to look after your health and know what, um, you know, is good enough or good rest. Um... Now, you know, for me, I was looking at changing my schedule up, where, you know, I maybe wake up a little earlier, get stuff done then, rather than night time, I'm not sure, <laughs> I was just thinking about it, um, and then I just got a cold, and I was like, no, nah, I have to just get through the cold, and just get through what I need to create, just don't think about that at the moment. I could, you know, it's easier to keep a schedule than it is to change it. You know, if I try and change a schedule, I lose a day because um, of that change. You know, at night, um, I have to go to bed early to wake up early. So that means I lose that night, uh, but I gain that morning. So, you know, <laughs> it's just changing where um, I am spending my time, really. Um... And I have done it in the past where I'll wake up early and, and create stuff before I go to work. Um, and kind of worked out well. <laughs> kind of didn't, in a way. Um, worked out kind of nights the best time for me at the moment. That's when, you know, kids are asleep and um, everything's quiet. I can just do my work and keep creating. Um, other things in the morning don't have to worry about. You know, it's, yeah. But you got to look after your routine. If you, you know, can sleep during the day and do it and do it all night, um, nothing, you know, if you're a natural night owl, you know, just make sure you get enough sleep, like, and keep it, um, and keep going with it. You know, that goes on to my next thing is don't chop and change your schedule like too much. Um, or don't chop and change it, um, because that really 
it does play up with you. I've done it in the past where, you know, for work, I've had to where some days I was working during the day, sometimes I was working during the night, oh, during the night, during, like, early mornings or something. Um, and it'll be early morning one day and then normal the next day or something. And that, you know, it'll give you, like, the afternoon. Um, and then, you know, the opposite way around where you have to go to bed early, to get up early, um, you lose that night, so it plays up with your schedule, you don't get a lot done um, at one day, some days you get more done, um, like chopping and changing it, you know, waking up early, waking up later, um, you know, you, you really don't um, keep it consistent, and you, you want it consistent um, as much as you can, you know, give or take an hour or two maybe, um, is okay, you know, for me, sometimes I'm go, I'm painting till 10.30, but I still try and get to bed by 11, um, you know, closest to 11, sometimes I'm, I'm still watching stuff at 11.30, um, but I, you know, try to keep on a schedule as much as I can, um, and that just keeps after my house, keeps me creating, um, make sure that when I do turn up to my next appointment, you know, my next creating schedule place um, where I get to create stuff, I'm not feeling shattered. Um, and that's what you want to, you want to create as much as you can, um, but when you get to your next, you know, appointment schedule where you get to create stuff, where you get to draw stuff, your next day of creating things, um, you can still function, you can still get stuff done. You know, you don't want to be um, saying if you're night owl, you're still working. Um, you can work till three or four a.m. or something like that, and go to sleep and and wake up maybe um, for four p.m. or or lunchtime or something like that, um, and you know still feel good. But if you you know you still working till six a.m., um, it might you really take a toll on you. <laughs> um, and then you know why you create. You gotta you gotta always keep that in mind. Why you create. Um, it gets challenging. You know, for me, a forced night owl to create a night time when some days I just want to play a game or, um, you know, <laughs> do something else. You know, and. I do sometimes really want to draw, you know, um, there are those days as well. So just getting back to why you create, um, how you create, and those things, just remembering all those um, keeps you motivated, keeps you going, um, and that's what I try to do, I enjoy creating, um, I create because I really want to. <laughs> I really enjoy um, having fun, telling a story um, through illustration, um, creating characters, creating worlds, creating stories, you know, um, yeah. I enjoy drawing as well, I'm getting better at it um, day by day. Same with this pug piece, you know, I've gone to it another level per se. Um, just the way I feel anyway, um, I've kind of upped the level scale um, slowly, but it's it's definitely taken me a long road to get here, um, and there's still more challenges to come, and there's still more to go, um, and I'm keeping at it, I'm not stopping anytime soon, there's more things I want to do, um, I was discussing the other day, um, doing a few more pug things, um, pugs, pug drawings and, and illustrations. Um, I originally, when I started it, um, I kind of was thought it was just a bit funny, you know, just do that. Um, and then I kind of expanded on it. Saw some artists that do the same kind of thing, like with different animals and, and different things that have done a lot a lot of them, um, 
I thought, why not do the same where I have quite a few pug paintings that are, you know, different but similar, you know, like, um, here's Pug Mermaid, little pug, um, and Iron Man pug, you know, I have lots of different fun ways to, to tell the story, to, to um, create the, the painting I'm trying to create, um, but yeah, you know, why create, I always create for, because I really enjoy creating and telling my stories, I enjoy these YouTube videos, setting them up, talking to artists, um, and just <laughs> getting my opinion and, and, um, advice out there, because I've been creating for a long time, I've just been creating on YouTube for quite a bit as well, and doing all this stuff, I have, you know, I've gone a lot of illustrations done, I have pretty much kind of finished a book there, um, I just kind of in the publishing stage kind of a thing, um, that's going to take me a little while, but that's okay, you know, I know what's achievable, um, and sometimes you don't know what's achievable, but you can get, you know, you can learn what's achievable, um, but yeah, thanks for listening in, it's been great if you guys have come in, uh, checked out my video, um, great having all you guys support my channel, so keep creating everyone, keep drawing, and see you in the next video.